This is Jeff Barnard from CDKN um, here in Cancun. I'm delighted to be joined by Edith Ni. Nee. Um, Edith is Director General of the Green Earth Volunteers in China. Um, thank you very much for joining us, Edith. Tell us a bit about your organization. Okay. Uh, Green Earth Volunteers is one of the three earliest NGOs in China, and we call ourselves NGO of journalists that advocates environmental protection and civil society. We have four major areas uh, of interest, including climate change, river protection, uh, uh, corporate uh, environmental governance, and the low carbon society. Can you g give me a feel for the sort of state of environmental journalism in China? Is, it, is environmental journalism thriving? I think it's, uh, it's well alive and it's uh, developing very uh, quickly actually compared with uh, many other countries. Do environmental journalists in, um, in China have reasonable freedom to operate? Yes, I think so. Uh, so far as environmental protection is concerned, we have uh, full freedom to report about what we see, what we would like the uh, public to know. For journalists in, in China, do you feel like there is enough um, knowledge of the actual science of climate change? Is that an issue for you? I think it's an issue for, for me, yes, and uh, as well as for many other journalists, because climate change is just more than uh, emission. It's, it's, it has uh, many different dimensions and so far we have been uh, have not been able to understand them all. How prominent is climate change as, as an issue in China both both amongst kind of politicians and, and decision makers but also the public? Okay I think climate change has become a really uh, hot issue in China from the government, media and the public side. Uh, the government has organized a committee consisting of more than 20 departments and all important departments within the government and the media have receiving have been receiving frequent training on uh, how to report climate change properly and the public is also uh, very aware of the climate change what, are, what do you see as the real headline issues in climate change in china i would say that water management in china what, what does water management mean what are, what are the real big risks you're, you're thinking about in China around water? I think water is the area that is most uh, uh, seriously impacted by climate change. And there is a saying, it might be some exaggeration in it, but people just like to say that uh, every river is dry, every water is polluted. So water pollution and a water shortage is a very serious problem. And I, I also think that it's a common issue we are facing all over the world. What, do, what are they suggesting as the solution to this problem in China? Uh, when we do, we are planning construction projects, we need to take into consideration of the, uh, of the sensitiveness of the water to climate change. So that should be uh, integrated into the planning system. So that's one of the big risks in China. What do you see as some of the opportunities that climate change poses for China? In the city development, because China has planned to develop uh, many uh, big cities and I think when c climate change is concerned actually you have to consider more about the uh, uh, limitation. People have been we uh, very well aware of the uh, uh, limited resources mm -hmm. so from the government level they have made plans to promote how to say the uh, low carbon development mm -hmm. Policy, and I think it will be integrated into and become a very important part of the uh, so-called 12-year, 12 12-5-year mm. plan in right. China. Do you see climate change as essentially an environmental in issue in China, or, or is it, do you see it as a development issue? I think it's an environmental issue and as well as a development issue. Uh, on the development side, I, I would say that climate change has played a very important role in promoting the civil society development in China. Actually, climate change has promoted the uh, proactive communication between government, media, and the public. Because the uh, participation of NGOs in environmental protection is, uh, is very much uh, encouraged by the government. What is your vision for China in 20 years, um, given, given that climate change is happening? Are you optimistic? Or um, are you quite, are you concerned? I'm op optimistic and concerned at the same time. I think if climate change is properly dealt with, 
that we we do a lot of the risk management uh, research and planning, then I think there will be, uh, the future will be bright. But if we ignore the importance of taking uh, climate change impact into consideration, especially in planning construction projects and uh, also in, uh, in the possible adaptation areas, then it will be very risky. Thank you very much, Edith. It's been very <laughs> nice talking to you. Thank you.